Thank you, Governor Polis, for those very kind words. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this has just been surreal, uh, a surreal day, a couple days for, for us. We, uh, we appreciate all our, our friends from Utah who are able to join us for, uh, for, for these two sessions. Thank you for your, your kindness and, and generosity. And, and uh, I, I want to thank the, the, the incredible governors for, uh, for their patience with me as we've, uh, as we've been together over this past year. Uh, I, I have an opportunity to just share a few words as I wrap up, and, and then I want to pay tribute to a few of our governors, and then I'll officially pass the, uh, the, the gavel over to, uh, to my incredible vice chair, Governor Polis. So I, I was thinking about what I might share with you uh, a, a little bit today about this journey we've been on, and, and uh, I, I want to, if I, if I can, if you'll permit me just a, a moment to share a quick story. When, when I was a kid, uh, I uh, went to work for my uncle, and, uh, and he had a, a construction company, and we were... Uh, we were doing some work, and one day he, he gave me an opportunity. He said, hey, we, we, we need to go. We've been hired to tear down a barn um, in, in Fairview, the small town in central Utah where I grew up. And, uh, and, and he said, you know, you and a couple others will go down and, and, and take care of, of tearing this, this building down. It was an old, old, old barn falling apart, and uh, I was so excited. Look, there's, there's fun, and then there's getting in a backhoe and knocking a building down fun. Uh, it, it, is, it, was, it was such an adrenaline rush. I just have to tell you, those walls are knocking down. And it didn't take us long. I, I mean, in a matter of, of just a few minutes, it was just a pile of rubble. Um, tearing things down is really easy. The dopamine hits. It is, it is so much fun. Uh, and uh, it turned out I was, I was pretty good at it. Um, uh, obviously, there's a, there's a little metaphor in here. Uh, I, I feel like in our country today, we've gotten really, really good at tearing things down, um, and people down, and institutions down, and, and parties down. And building is hard. Not, not when I was 16, but many years later, I thought about that building and that barn, and, and I thought about the people who built it. We, we live in a very poor part of the state, a very poor part of this country. I can only imagine how long it took for them to, to earn the, the, the money necessary and gather the supplies, probably years to build this bar. I can only imagine how many people came together to put up that structure as they, they built community together. I know whoever built that barn did not do it alone. And, uh, and again, in, in, in our society today, building is hard. Building institutions is hard work. Tearing them down is easy. Building up our neighbors and our communities is hard work. And you know that. I know I'm preaching to the choir here. But being a governor is hard work because you are the builders. That's what you've been hired to do. The pundits can tear down. The, the arsonists can tear down. The conflict entrepreneurs that are all around us, some of us in our business and in the media and elsewhere. They're really good at tearing down. But we need some architects. We need more builders. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. I, I want to conclude with... I, I just want to conclude with um, some words by, uh, by a friend who many of you know, uh, an incredible writer. You need to read his new book. It's called American Covenant. Uh, Yuval Levin said this. He was asked a question recently, and I've, I've heard him. He's been asked this before, and I, I was really excited for the answer. He, he was asked by a student, are you optimistic about our country? Now, the thing you have to know about Yuval is he hates the word optimism. Uh, now, that may surprise you. It seems like a pretty Good word, but let me, I, I wrote down his answer, and I want to read it because he expressed it so much better than I could. He said, I think optimism and pessimism are more alike than they may seem. They're both basically arguments for passivity. They're ways of thinking about what's just going to happen inevitably. So I'm not an optimist. I so, certainly don't think good things are just going to happen. That seems like a crazy way to react to all of human history. Then he says this, but I am hopeful. And I think hope is the virtue that sits between the vices of optimism and pessimism. And it's the view that things could be better if we are willing to make them so. 
So ladies and gentlemen, I am not optimistic about our country. And I don't think any of us should be. I think it's crazy to think our country is just going to get better. I often say that pendulum swing and, and we all, Americans always do the right thing after we've tried everything else, right? We, we, we've heard that quote many times. But that's crazy talk. There is nothing that says that we are inevitably going to get better as a country. There is nothing that says that we aren't going to continue to tear ourselves apart. There is nothing that says that we won't inevitably have another civil war. It's happened before and it can happen again. And it will happen again if we don't do the work. But I am hopeful. I'm very hopeful about our country. I'm hopeful because I get to serve with you. I'm hopeful because there are good people in this country that are willing to make it so. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because the people in this room are not willing to let this happen to us. We can't make this a better place. We can't hate each other. We can't hate each other. We do hate each other. We can't love each other again. We can disagree without hating each other. We can have passionate debates, and we do, over whose ski resorts are better. <laughs> the greatest snow on earth is in Utah. <laughs> and we can fight about immigration and abortion, but at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we are Americans, and America is still the greatest country on the face of the earth. I'm proud to be an American, and I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful for this country.